I hope you all are having an amazing day. In this session today, I'm going to demonstrate a um, use case where um, think about like you're making a manual outbound call to a customer and then uh, you know that most of your call reach a customer voicemail. So how would you save agents time by um, not allowing the agent to leave a voicemail but allowing the system to leave a voicemail um, automatically? Now, um, in this scenario here, um, is not going to save uh, completely what agent was trying to do earlier, uh, but it's going to save a little bit of agent's time um, because in this scenario, the agent is not leaving the voicemail, but agent is still manually dialing the customer a phone number, and when they hear the voicemail, um, they connect uh, to a quick connect within Amazon Connect, which will basically identify who is the agent who is calling the customer, um, get their first name, and then leave a short message to the customer. Now, this is these are the scenarios where you don't have an automatic dialer solution in your call center, and you're still using a manual outbound, and you want to increase the agent efficiency um, and save a little bit of time um, by you know automating the voicemail message. So what I've done is I've created a quick connect, which is called VM. And then basically I've created a contact flow, which is the default queue transfer. Um, I've modified the one which comes out of the box. So what I've done is um, on the default queue transfer, I said that, okay, set the voice as Matthew. And then I said, okay, play the prompt where it says, hello, this is, um, for example, let's say the name is John Smith then it would take the first name and it would say it would then play the entire message saying that calling from XYZ company if this is this call is regarding your upcoming appointment please call us back at this number Monday to Friday something like that so um, and, and how this will work is um, basically you when you're setting up the queue you would assign the um, quick connect to that particular queue and um, the default outbound uh, flow is something where you will capture the agent name. So here, if you look on the default, out, default outbound flow, I've captured a contact attribute um, and I created a uh, destination key as name and then I use the type as agent and I identify who the first name is. So when the agent is making an outbound call, this will be the flow which will trigger first. It will identify the queue name but since it reaches the customer voicemail, it basically doesn't play the whisper on the customer side. So uh, at that moment, you still have this contact attributes within your session. And then when the agent transfers the call to the default uh, queue transfer flow using the quick connect, you will be able to identify the agent name from there. So um, let's see how this can be done. So um, I'll open the Amazon Connect console phone panel. So I would go ahead and dial my number. So I went ahead and disconnected the of call. Four, six, nine, three, four, five, nine, eight. So this is what the agent would do. They would uh, select the VM or the voicemail template from the Quick Connect, and then they will go ahead and um, leave the call. So what what they're trying to do is basically transferring the call uh, to the Quick Connect flow, um, which basically have a recorded message saying that, please call us back. And again, if you think this would save like 30, 40 seconds each outbound calls where you know that maximum of your calls will reach uh, the customer voicemail. Um, it's a bit of a saving at the um, agent side, and um, you can increase the efficiency of the agent because they don't have to repeat the Hello. message every time. Um, now, you can create separate templates. Uh, there are different ways you could do it, like, uh, you know, different quick connects for different templates based on the message type. And what you can do is um, also... Um, have a Lambda function written on this contact flow which would pull that message from an S3 bucket or a DynamoDB or any RDS instance. So this allows you um, to build an interface for your business so that they can update these voicemail messages the way they want because you don't want them to touch the code. So 
the, the different ways to solve it. So I'll go ahead and play the voicemail which I got on my cell phone. Hello, this is John calling from XYZ Company. This call is regarding your upcoming appointment. Please call us back at 800-800-1234 anytime between 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. PST Monday to Friday to confirm your appointment. So if you if you heard that, right, as a customer, I got that message and, you know, um, that message itself was for like uh, 15 seconds. Um, think about an agent leaving a message taking approximately 20 to 25 seconds. So you're basically saving 20 seconds uh, per call. All right. So that's all I had for this session. Please let me know if you have any questions. Leave